Hey guys, it's Nanania, and I am back with level 7 of Orcs Must Die on Nightmare Mode. This one is called Twin Halls, and you will see why. Because there's two halls. Anyways, lightning ring, frost amulet, gotta have them. Come on, pick them. Pick them, Nanania. Do it. Gosh, what a noob, taking so long. You know you're gonna pick them, just take them. I was debating the frost amulet because there is a frost ogre, so wasn't sure if I should take it or not. I decided to go for it. I got the boom barrel, the tar trap, the brimstone, the arrow wall, barricades you have to have, otherwise it's way too hard. Um, I decide on the paladin, no, take the paladin out. I want the archer instead. Better choice. Wise decision. Okay, so. Now, when we start, first thing you need to do on Nightmare Mode, go barricade off the other side, okay? This will funnel the other side, the left side of the Twin Halls, to the right side. Until then, you just spam, 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 spam. Who needs headshots? I mean, come on. Headshots are for respawn. No, I'm just kidding. I spam like a crap load on this level. I'm not really sure why either. So here's your Frost Ogre on level one or wave one, I guess I should say. Now I thought, okay, I'll put arrow walls here at the Coin Forge. No, bad idea. Put them right here because this is where all the other waves are going to come from. That's going to leave a mark. I got a wall of arrow walls. I'm trying to use my lightning ring to get some extra money from the coin forge. Thin out the herd a little bit because my my trap setup is still pretty basic. Oh, I love seeing that. Arrow wall, arrow wall, arrow wall. Just a barrage of arrows. Now if you had a wind belt. You could just push them all back and make them run that gauntlet again. It's very good. Uh, I would suggest the wind belt instead of maybe the brimstone or the coin forge. You don't really need the coin forge. I just love the idea of having more money for more traps. Putting down some tar right here, slow them down a little bit. Trying to get enough money for another tar. Take him out. Take him out on the coin forge. That's also one of the problems I have with the coin forge. I tend to take out the orcs right before or right after the coin forge. So it doesn't really help me and I stopped using it in the later levels. Now where I put the lightning right there is a perfect place to put it. Especially as that other side of the twin halls comes around. You'll see it work wonders once I put archers down. It's really good. You get so many combos. Spam! Spam, spam, spam! Spam that! Nightmare mode? More like lightning ring mode, am I right? No. It's really good though. Oh lag! Oh lag! Sorry about the lag. Okay, I have enough money. I'm gonna get the burning pitch, the arrow upgrade for the archers. Start laying them down. Incoming combos. So we got some ogres, and I'm still not. I don't have enough traps to really take care of the ogres. So I'm gonna try and kill them before they get to me. Get them out of the way. Okay, ogres are down. Just gotta deal with these archers. Crossbow orcs. Another lightning cloud where it should be. Look at those combos. Feels good. 
Gonna lay down another layer of tar traps as well. This will help with more combos for the orcs that get through. And I'm just gonna have rows and rows of archers soon, which you will see, I think, after this wave. So prepare. Prepare for archer spam. Just throwing the lightning down the hall. Trying to hit as many orcs as I can. Kind of stupid. You know, it's a waste of combos and points, which I will learn later. But if you guys are doing this level after watching this, don't do that. If you want combo points and leaderboard stats, wait until they get there to your traps. Let your traps kill them. You get twice as many points for trap kills. Okay, I got the ogres. Just trying to take them out as fast as possible. Let the archers take those guys out. Have a little bit more money. Gonna put a few more archers out. Laying down the lightning storm. Not much to talk about. Just killing some orcs. This level does start to get uh, a little heated near the end though. I mess up pretty bad with my trap placement. I don't know, I feel kind of stupid and ashamed of doing it. You'll see soon. More archers, gotta have them. Okay, so this is the wave where I mess up. You can see I have 5,000 coins. That's a ton. What do I spend it on? Archers. I buy 10 archers. I am out of my mind. I feel like Oprah Winfrey. You get an archer. You get an archer. You get an archer. I can't do the voice, sorry. But instead of that second line of archers that I put down, or I guess third total, I should have put some brimstone between those two tar traps. I would have gotten more combo points, and I could have lined the other wall with arrow traps. That would have been good. But instead I just go arrow happy and put more archers. It's not good. Don't do that. It's good on some levels, but I really should have put some brimstone down. I didn't even use it in this level. The reason I should have put some brimstone down, you'll see on this wave, I think. This wave or the last wave. It's really... Oh man. I don't want to spoil it. It's really bad though. I believe this wave has kobold sappers, which you need to be mindful of. Otherwise, they'll break your barricades on the other side, and you'll just end up wasting money. Not good. So, to combat the Cobalt Sappers, you need to stay... See, see look, you can see on the minimap right there, boom, they just exploded it. You need to stay on those stairs so the sappers don't take out your barricades. If you stay on the stairs... Oh, there it comes, see? Boom. If you stay on the stairs, then they will go around the proper way, and you won't have to worry about it. Now, as I was busy putting those barricades down, some orcs got through. But, no problem for my archers. They are beasts. I really wish I would have done that brimstone. I want to go re-record it because I'm so ashamed of the last wave. Here it comes. This wave has 
lots of stuff. It has ogres, it has null hunters. Oh god, more archers, really? Come on, stop it, just stop it. Here we got the ogres. We got the ogres. Again, I'm worried about my archers dying. I don't want these ogres to get close to them. I got a lucky freeze on that knoll back there. Pretty cool. Taking out these ogres as fast as I can. Now here is my big mistake. See those ogres back there? I'm focusing on the gnolls, but the ogres are destroying my archers. If I had some brimstone, they'd be a little bit closer to dead. But I didn't. I focused on archers and they all died. Every single one of them died. And now I'm gonna have to fight for my life to keep all these orcs away from the rift. So don't put that many archers down. You only really need two rows. Spend the rest of your money on arrow walls, brimstone, um, and barrels. You can use the boom barrels a lot more effectively. I rarely use them. It was like a last minute thing. But we won five skulls. Just a little stressful at the end because of the bad decision. So we learned don't spam archers. 126,000. Let's check the leaderboard. 78. I'll take it. That was a poor performance at the end. I'll take that 78. All right, guys. Well, this has been level seven on Nightmare Mode Twin Halls. Thank you for watching, and I will be back with level eight next time. See ya.